What's going on YouTube? But your boy Thomas today, we are looking at Supreme Week 7, the Doc Martens collab, as well as the full drop list with all pieces coming out this week for Week 7 of Spring Summer 2023. Let's get into it. Sup, Thomas. Starting off with the Doc Martens collab, Supreme has teamed up with Doc Martens once again for a new version of the Penton Tassel Loafer. The shoe features hair on hide and smooth leather uppers with engraved logo metal tassel rings and airwear cushion soles made exclusively for Supreme in three distinct colorways available once again April 6th worldwide and in Japan on the 8th. So looking at the pictures, it's definitely a look with these Doc Martens. The blue is the featured kind of colorway here. Kind of saw that with the motion logos. Seems like blue is kind of Supreme's new color for the season. Just kind of what they're releasing a lot of their collabs and different pieces with. So I think it's certainly a cool color. Definitely an interesting look. We have the classic black Doc Martens. Can't really go wrong with these. I think these are the best looking uh, colorway for these. The tassels with the gold look very nice as accent pieces. And then the crazy piece is the the cowhide kind of hair on hide leather guys or not leather, just the hair kind of faux fur looking shoes is certainly a very crazy look. Definitely a statement piece. If you were to rock these, I really love the way they look. I personally could not see myself wearing really any of these, but if I were to get one, Ah, man, I might be inclined to get these just to think, you know, if you're going to go for them, you might as well go all out. And certainly that material looks very interesting. I think in hand, these would be very cool to look at. And I'd love to see more pictures of them when people get them in hand because they look really pretty right here. But what do they actually look like on feet? What kind of outfits are people going to put together with these? And, you know, overall, my opinion on Doc Martens is there's certainly an established look for some people. I do like how it's definitely something different from like a Nike collab, a sneaker, you know, another boot, another Timbaland. These are definitely unique in their own right, have their own style about them. The colors are cool. And again, we have a focused collaboration that has three different colors. You have your basic black, your your lowest of keys, right? The most classic look. You have a splash of color with the blue, and then you have the all out crazy pair with the cowhide, hair on hide, whatever you want to call them, patterned shoe. So I like that it kind of spans that spectrum of not wanting to be too crazy and then the opposite, wanting to be as crazy as possible. I think that's pretty cool. And that's pretty much the Doc Martens collab Let's take a look at the rest of the drop list. I did cover this in my video yesterday. You can check that out here. The partial drop list. I think all the prices are pretty much the same, except we do have the Doc Martens, which are going to be 178 bucks before taxes and shipping. And then we do have these pants right here for 158. Everything else is pretty much the same. Items that I think are the best this week are the Alpha Industries Bomber. Only bad thing is that price, nearly $400 for that is unfortunate. I love the Sparkle R hoodie. I think it's a cool collegiate kind of inspired design with Supreme, you know, proud and bold on the front. That's very cool. I love the geometric kind of track suit with the shorts, but certainly not for everyone. And then definitely the webbing keychain is that budget economic accessory. I think we'll definitely resell for a little bit because it is so cheap people can afford to buy it but if you are going to go for that i would really encourage you to get a different piece as well so you don't get eaten alive on the shipping and handling costs for just one keychain but that's just my opinion what do you guys think of the doc martens collab and week seven as a whole i could definitely see people skipping this week a lot of people were saying that in the comments of my first video Definitely don't think that's a bad idea to save for some of the later weeks that have something that maybe you're more inclined to purchase, but that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Thomas and I'm out. Peace and butt grease. See ya.